Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal. You'll have to excuse the fact that I'm uh, ill and dressed the same because I'm making five films all in the same day. Um, I know I look rough and I am full up of the flu. Uh, Thursday I went buying, it's uh, Sunday this morning and hammering down, so I haven't gone out. Uh, Thursday I went buying at Splot Market and I've done a film showing you all the antiques and collectibles I bought. But there's one piece I bought that you never got to see. And I bought him for the shop. So I'm going to show you him in just a minute. And I'm going to show you, I've altered my window display for Valentine's Day and that. So I'm going to show you that too. So hopefully you'll enjoy having a little look at them, guys. Um, loads of things changing around in the shop. Um, what I've done for now is all the very expensive pieces, the pieces in the hundreds, um, I've taken out. Um, January, as you know, was absolutely useless. You know, I took takings, but it was useless in comparison to what it has been. February's picked back up, but I'm finding they're not buying the very expensive pieces like they were. They're only buying, it seems to be at the moment, anything under sort of £50-ish. So what I've done, uh, which could be counterproductive, I don't know, um, I've taken three crates of expensive pieces out of the shop, you know, stuff I've had £200 on, £150 on, 250 and so on, took it all out. Uh, I've utilised them spaces with cheaper pieces, where I've brought pieces of nail or ladder down for £25 or £30 instead of having half a shop of expensive and half a shop of cheap, I've made, put it all mid-range and cheap. Just for now, if um, I find them, um, people want the uh, dearer pieces, I'll start bringing them back in. Or they can buy them online and I'll bring them to the shop because they'll all go onto my website. So either way, it is what it is. Um, and I've done that this week and takings have trebled this week already selling the, uh, the lower end items. Yes, I'm having to sell more of them, um, but they actually contain more profit than the dearer pieces. Because they're the pieces that are coming in for little to no money. Now, I also on Wednesday went to a lady who wanted me to do a, go up and look at a house clearance. I say house clearance loosely. What she done? She emptied her attic, put it all in the living room, and she wanted me to go up and have a look. Now, everything in there, she said to me she had grog, samplers and everything, and ceramics and glass. Everything in there was no good. Uh, by no good, I mean I would give it all to the charity shop. Um... Uh, the sampler was basically a modern cross stitch that somebody had done at home. Uh, all the ceramics and glass were no good. But she did have a 1999 10-inch grog of Neil Jenkins. Now, I looked online. I'm not a dealer in grogs, uh, but I do buy them. I looked online and I could have bought a 2001 grog of Neil Jenkins for £140. And that's what they were asking. That wasn't sold prices. They were asking that they hadn't been able to get it. But I thought the 1999 one was the last time you played for Ponty before you moved to Cardiff. So I thought well, that's got to be a bit more special. Anyway, I offered £90, would have gone to maybe 100 And that still wasn't enough for her. Uh, she was talking more £200. So I said, no, not for me, thank you. Uh, and left her at that. It's shocking. When they come into the shop, they want it cheap. But when they want to sell to you, they want the earth. Uh, you know, swings and runabouts, guys. Um... Uh, but anyway, I left it. She's got the grog and she kept all the stuff. It was nothing there for me. But I am having some beautiful pieces brought in the shop. And I've got a large collection of Chinese ceramics that's been brought in that I've bought. And I'm going to show you them in a video next. Uh, but for now, I'm going to show you my little Jeeves and I'm going to show you my window display. So hopefully you'll enjoy having a look at that, guys. Uh, and excuse how rough I look. Okay, so here we have him. There's my Jeeves butler. Look at that. He's a grumpy looking sausage. <laughs> Look at that. Reminded me of um, Jeff Dunham's Walter. But he is. He's actually called Jeeves the butler. You can buy him online. They're hundreds and hundreds of pounds. This one is solid wood, all hand carved. And as you can see, his little hand out and he's holding my business cards for people. What can I say? Some people love him, some people hate him. I've already had three people try and buy him. He's not for sale, he's mine. 
as you know I had the arts and crafts uh, three tier cake stand there from uh, 1911 but now I have my Mr Jeeves I keep polishing his head <laughs> I keep rubbing rubbing him on his head and he's gone shiny so I need to stop touching him right? everybody loves him there's the odd one or two who said oh he's creepy and grumpy but you know what that's a face only a mother can love oh, no, I like him. <laughs> see there's a mother <laughs> Lovely. so there's my Jeeves guys Bring a little bit of character to my shop and he's handing out my cards. And he doesn't look happy about giving out my cards, I must admit, but he's doing his job. Really well carved. Weighs God knows how much. And I've had a look online and he comes in two sizes, 30 inch and 70 inch. The 30 inch was about four, five hundred pounds. The 70 inch was twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars for him. Absolutely astronomical. That's obviously off the people who produce them. I paid £80 for him in Splot Market. She was asking 100 or 95 and I went in at 50 and we worked all the way up until I got to 80 quid and she said have him because I told her it was for the shop, not for resale. She said have him and there he is standing proud in my shop. He's the night guard when I'm not here and he's the uh, butler handing out my cards during the day. I think he should put sweets on his hand. Hey. Or cake. <gasps> Cake! <laughs> Diet cake! Anyway, I'm going to go outside now and show you the uh, next piece. In fact, do you want to go show him? No. Uh, no, it's just raining. This is raining now. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Let's go outside and let's have a little look at the window display, how I've done that. And yes, it's raining. You can see how miserable it is out here. I have made a board and uh, put nails on it and I've dangled all the jewellery off it so they can see the jewellery. And I've put little signs and another one this side. So what do you think? Um, I done it for Valentine's Day because the lower end jewellery wasn't selling as fast as I wanted. Um, so what I done, I went across to the builder's merchant said, go off, cut the board. And they said, yeah, didn't even cost me a tenner guys, it was about eight pound for the board. The material, believe it or not, I didn't have no black velvet or nothing and you know I got no patience. Uh, <laughs> I got zero patience. So I went home and I was looking for bed sheets, I was looking for anything, my photographing cloths, you name it, I would have put anything over it. And do you know what I found? I had a roll of lining material for plant pots. And it is the black material that you put in like baskets, hanging baskets and I'm filled with moss. Yeah, but that's supposed to be in see for my one that is supposed to be made for me for my garden over a year ago, even though I bought the stand and then he took it off me and he's supposed to be putting flowers in it and I never had it. She'll have it one day. That's my stuff now, isn't it? That I block that board. Anything comes off our board fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I've still got the roll out the back room, so I still got plenty to do her stuff. Um, but yeah, all it was, um, eight, pound, it eight pound for the board, the roll of uh, material I had, so I just put it on the floor in the shop, covered it over, sell the tape on the back, hang on. Oh. See, he blames me for that cold. Sell the tape on the back, put a couple of hooks in, hang it up by wire for whatever angle I wanted, and job done. I've done a dozen necklaces off that in the last three, four days. Um, and I've got thousands more, <laughs> and I mean a well, hundred certainly. As you saw, I got into my safe finally, so as one sells, I just hang another up. Really is uh, no, no problem whatsoever there. So yeah, loads of changes throughout the shop. I'm not gonna bother filming the shop today to show you the shop. I'll do that in another video another day when I got more time, because I've still, we've done about four films now, yeah. uh, this morning, and I got another one or two to make yet. But I wanted you to see the window display and I wanted you to see Jeeves. I love Jeeves, guys. He's my new best friend in the shop. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Isn't he mean to me? Uh, I'll look at him, though. Get the camera. I'll show him what I do. I'll tell you what. 
Look, I'm on his head all the time. Effects, look. Isn't he just perfect? Look, he's like a little old grumpy grumpy. That was uh, dig at me, mate, because I'm a grumpy grumpy. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, ah, let me see. Anything else I can say now? Uh, well, I thought I'd just join in the video of you because I've been sat over there and, of course, he hasn't been able to pick on me. But I am now on film going to pick on him. Where's my plant pot? In my back bag. Good bag them back on. I bought that and he said, oh, I'll grow flowers, wild flowers from my garden and into your garden. I thought, oh, beautiful. And yeah. Yeah, see it. You forgot about me, didn't you? No. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed seeing Jeeves. Love him. Hope you enjoyed having a look at the uh, new display for the jewellery. And of course, because it's angled. Um, I do also have pieces behind it for sale in the shop so they can still I still got the window in use with brass sources and vases and things uh, underneath this where this angle like that I got pieces along here it may sell they may not it's not the best place to display them but I'm selling the jewelry like it's going out of fashion which is exactly what we wanted uh, I think that's about it guys. I can't think of anything else I want to show you. Um, yeah. You want to say anything, Bob? When he does another film now, right? Have a look around the eye, right? <laughs> Later, yeah. Just have a look now, right? And that'll be the plant pot. <laughs> I'm going to call her a day, but there, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing Jeeves and uh, the new display. If you have, I would appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know you've subscribed. Uh, you'll find me on Facebook. I have a page on the group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come and visit us at the shop, number 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. That's South Wales, United Kingdom, guys. If you're overseas, I am sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. And bye for now. Bye.